What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be using one of my favorite ice types of all time, Wall Ring. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day just to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Another thing I want to mention, guys, is your boy is streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below, Genius25 on Twitch, and the name is right on the layout, right below my face cam, bottom right hand corner. So if you guys want to go check me out on Twitch, it would mean a lot. Hopefully you guys pop out to the streams, chat it up, say what's up. I would love to talk to you guys. But uh, with that out the way, let's get started with today's team preview. Starting off with our first Pokemon, it is going to be Walrein over here with the leftovers as its item. So at the end of every single turn, we are going to get HP. It is also rocking the Ice Body ability. So at the end of every single turn in Hail, we're going to get even more HP. So pair that up with leftovers. We're going to be getting a nice little chunk of HP at the end of every single turn. Eevee's first Pokemon is going to be HP fully maxed out. We got a bit in special attack, and then we put a few in defense and special defense just to make this Pokemon a little bit more bulkier. Move set for this guy is going to be Ice Beam for Stab, Sheer Cold for if we're feeling a little lucky, we can land one hit KO, and then we got Surf for Stab and Substitute to the, you know, set up that Substitute. If we get Substitute out with the Ice Body uh, healing alongside with the Leftovers healing, we can stay in the battle a good bit. Next Pokemon on team is going to be our Hail Setter. It is going to be Obama Snow with Blizzard, Energy Ball, Protect, and Icy Wind. It's got that Snow Warning as its ability to set the Hail, and then last but not least, the item it is holding. It's going to be that Focus Sash so it does not get one tapped. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be a big physical attacker for the team. It is going to be Scissor over here with that Life Orb as its item. Obviously, it's Rocket Technician as its ability, and the moveset is fairly normal. It is Bull Punch, X Scissor, Swords Dance, and Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before on a Scissor. Fourth Pokemon on the squad. Hold up. There we go. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Infernape over here. Infernape is really good as a nice little lead because it has Fake Out, and it can also hit like a truck. It's got Close Combat. It's got Flare Blitz for Stab, and then it has you turn to Pivot Out. It's rocking the Blaze ability, and then item it is holding is going to be that Extra Belt to make him do a bit more damage when he's using a super effective move. Fifth Pokemon on team is going to be Latios over here. And Latios is a great speed control Pokemon because A, it is really fast, and B, it learns Tailwind. It's got the Soul Dew as its item to make Psychic and Dragon moves do more damage. It's rocking the Levitate ability so it can't be hit by ground moves. And the moveset is going to be Psychic, Dragon Pulse, both for Stab, Tailwind for speed control, and Protect for our final move. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be another great physical attacker. It is going to be Tyranitar over here with Protect, Dragon Ash, Crunch, and Rock Slide. It's rocking the uh, Hailstorm, or not Hailstorm, the Sandstream as its ability. And then it has the Lumberry so it does not get status conditions. So, Titar is going to be great when we're not bringing in the Walrein or the uh, or the Bombastone squad. It kind of just roll out there and do its own thing and just, you know, get off big damage because it is such a strong physical attacker. But guys, there's the team preview. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Look to get some wins with this Walrein team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle. We're going up against a pretty tough team. I'm not going to sit here and lie. He's rocking out with a Regigigas slow start team with the Weezing. Then he has a Dust Noir, Titar, Malwak, and Rotom Watch. I kind of still want to lead my Walrein and Obama, so I'm going to do it because I'm trying to showcase him in today's video. So hopefully he's not leading the Regigigas. I mean, I feel like we can still be solid. Maybe, just maybe, I can go for a, uh, what is that even called? A Sheer Cold. That would be awesome to actually land in today's video. But uh, what other Pokemon should I roll out with? What other Pokemon should I use? I'm feeling like Infernape could be pretty solid. I mean, it's super effective up against a few different of these Pokemon. It could do a few, uh, like, a decent amount of work. I could actually go... I could actually go Infernape to start. Infernape's not too bad for a nice little start here. Instead of setting the hill, I might just go Walrein and Infernape. And Fake Out maybe set up a Substitute and then swap into a Bomb of Snow. That could definitely be a, an option for us. But at the same time, it's a little tough. It's a little tough. Because I just like having Infernape out there because it's super effective up against that Rich Gigas. You know, I'm going to do that. And then last but not least, I think I'm going to roll out into Scissor. But Scissor is just great all around. So, you know, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yeah, I really want to lead the Bomber Snow. But if he leads Reggie Gigas, that's just going to be so tough. That's really just going to be so tough. So he's going to end up going with Reggie Gigas. Good thing we did actually swap that last second. So Walrein Infernape is going to poke out here. I think I'm going to set up a substitute and maybe just fake out the Reggie Probably my play, right? No ability, so Ice Body is not going to poke out here. But yeah, I feel like I just set up the substitute. And I just drop a fake out right into Regigigas. I think that's got to be our play. Then we can close combat next turn as we have our substitute up. So I do dig that. I do indeed dig that. We have a special attacker and then we have a fire Pokemon. So he can't burn any of us. Well, he can burn my uh, wall read, but it's not going to affect us. Which is really good for us. He's going to end up protecting the Regigigas. That's totally fine. I was going to fake out the Weezing. Maybe double protects. That could be good for us. 
Let's see what he does. No, he's not going to double protect. So what's he going to do with the Weezing? Weezing, what are you doing here? Substitute's going to poke out here from him and me. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about the double substitute. I'm all about the double substitute. I'm all about the double substitute. I think it's pretty cool. He's going to leftover seal up and I'm going to leftover seal up. I love it, yo. I love it. So we're seeing double right now. Um, I could go for a close combat this turn. I wish I did have the focus dash on Infernape, but I do not, which is a little tough. But you know what? I am just going to Ice Beam, try to get rid of your substitute, and I'm going to go for a straight close combat because if I can land this onto this Regigigas, I can do some big damage with the extra belt. I can do some big damage here. Close combat coming out here. Is this KO? Yep, straight up just KO. So this is exactly why I want to get rid of him. So there's that. Ice Beam's going to fly, and I might just U-turn Pivot next turn into my Bomba Snow just so I can get the Ice Body and the Hail rolling for my boy. Walrein out and about. Does Walrein out speed him? I don't think he does. He's going to end up going next, and he's just going to drop a nice little Heat Wave. So actually, my boy Walrein's substitute should still be up at, at this point, which could be good. Yep. Substitute is still up. That's gorgeous. Ice Beam's going to fly, and this might be able to take it out. This might be able to take out the sub, which I would love. I would adore if it actually takes out the sub. It would take out the sub. And it does fade. Okay, so good turn for us. I can U-turn Pivot out, and I'm going to get a Bomba Snake. Actually, I have to get rid of him before I can even set the hail. I have to get rid of him before I can even set the hail, but Substitute's nice. I might go for a sheer cold at this point. I might go for a sheer cold at this point. Let's just see who he throws out next. So my defense is down in the dumpster for an eight. He's going to throw out Rotom, and I should be faster than him. So, you know what? I might go for a sheer cold. I'm going to try to take out him with a sheer cold. 30% chance. Let's you turn out here as well. Yo, if I can land the sheer cold, that would be amazing. A little bit of one-hit KO action with Walrein. I would love it. I would love it. Just to get this video started with a one-hit KO. That'd be that'd be beautiful. That would be beautiful. Let's just see what he does. It's a 30% chance of hitting. So we're relying on RNG, but I'll go for it now, considering we have a, a decent we had a decent first turn there. And I had to get rid of this reason. I had to get rid of this reason. And I like the U-turn pivot too. I do like the U-turn pivot. Hydro Pump's gonna come out here and wow, he actually outspeeds me quick. That's a real quick Rotom. The good thing we did dodge that Hydro Pump. We get the U-turn out and come on, yo. Sheer Cold, let's go. Let's go, Sheer Cold. Run it up. I'm going to hard swap into, uh, I could go into Scissor. I think I'm going to have to go into Scissor. Yeah, I'm going to go into Scissor here. I'm going to with him. Let's land this Sheer Cold. Land this Sheer Cold. Do it. Land Sheer Cold. I'm going to go for a substitute. Send it back up. Oh, no. This is KO through substitute if it lands. I'm curious. I'm going for Sheer Cold. It missed anyway. That kind of stinks. We're looking to get these Sheer Colds off. We're looking to do this. We're looking to do him dirty. So, Leftover's going to keep healing us up. I'm going to start taking off the Substitute with, uh, with what's it called? With Scissor, and I'm just going to start Sheer Cold right into the truth. I'm going to go there. I think I might just Bullet Punch and get rid of that. That might be my play. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of the Substitute right now. So, Bullet Punch going to fire. Uh, send it that way. And we're going to... That should fade it, right? That should fade it. Yeah, it does fade it. So, cool. So we get rid of Sub. That's fine. What's he going to do from here? What are you gonna do from here? Rotom should go next. He's gonna go for Hydra Pump. Go to my Wall Ring. No, it goes to my Scissor. Scissor, can you eat that, right? You can, beautiful. Land is Sheer Cold. Heat Wave's gonna come out here, and that says bye bye to Scissor. And that we might still have a sub after this. I need to land a Sheer Cold. Nope, there goes my sub. Come on, yo, Sheer Cold. Land up. Land up here. I need you to land up here. I need you to land here. Wall Ring, you Sheer Cold. And he dodged. God dang it. Can we land one of them? Can we land one of them? I'm really hoping we can. I'm really hoping we can. Okay, so from here, I kind of just want to take out the... I kind of just want to take out the uh, the Weezing, because I feel like Rotom might protect. I feel like Rotom might protect, so you know what? I'm just going to fake out the... Uh, who do I go after here? I'm going to go after Weezing, and I'm just going to fake out the... Uh, I'm going to fake out the Weezing here as well. I feel like Rotom protects, and we're going to read it. I feel like we're going to read this protect. Because Rotom's obviously wants to go for a Hydro Pump into my front end. And I feel like he's just going to try to set up a substitute. Yo, can we land a Sheer Cold? If I can land a Sheer Cold and just get rid of this Weezing, this could be huge, because then I can just bring out a Bomb of Snow and kind of get after the battle that way. But I know he has the Electric Move, too, which is kind of scary. I know he has that Electric Move as well. Rotom is a bit of a pain. Is a bit of a pain, but dude, I'm trying to land these Sheer Colds for you guys. I really am. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it for you guys. I am looking for it. But not a bad battle so far. I feel like we definitely could have, like... We actually would have just like straight up played this one. We could have been looking pretty solid. But he's gonna end up withdrawing him, so that's not a bad turn for us. So he's gonna withdraw the Rotom. 
I'm cool with that. And who's he going to roll into from here? He's going to roll into T-Tar. He's going to change up weather. So weather's going to go into his favor. Actually, there is no weather because of uh, the plastic gas. Can we land a sheer cold now? Can we finish this Pokemon off? Bro, we cannot land a sheer cold. We cannot land a sheer cold. I don't know what to do. Should I just start attacking? Should I just start attacking? That, have to, that might have to be my play. Just start attacking. This is obnoxious. This is obnoxious. But, uh, you know, we're going to go for another sheer cold. And I'm just gonna go for close combat, take out Titar. That's how play. Ah, dang it, yo. Sheer Cold, can we land? We're going for it again. Walrein's doing solid, yo. He's bulking. He's looking pretty good. He just needs to, you know, get some RNG. So we're 0 for 3 on Sheer Colds. We're looking to get it now. He's probably gonna hard swap oh, into Rotom. Yeah, it's gotta be Rotom. It's not a bad turn. Effects of neutralizing gas is gone. He's gonna set the sand stream. I'm kind of fine with that. I don't mind it. This close combat should just be able to dump on this Titar. Like, Infernip should be faster. And then we have a chance to Sheer Cold for the KO here. Nope, he protects. Can we land a Sheer Cold, please? This could be a big, big time Sheer Cold play. Sheer Cold, I need you to land here. Let's go. It's time, Walreen. It is time, Walreen. Do it. Do it, Walreen. We got it. There it is, yo. Sheer Cold coming in hot. We get rid of that Rotom. That's a big time KO. Getting rid of that Rotom like that. I could change backup weather and set up sub if I want to, but I feel like we have a lot of speed going here. I feel like we have plenty of speed. And a close combat can just rip. So I like that. I don't mind this. I do not mind this turn. So I'm gonna close combat. It's four times super effective into uh, that T-Tar, and then I'm just going to drop, I guess, an Ice Beam. Wait, that's solid. That's solid. I do like that. Neutralizing gas is here. Abilities are gone, so let's just go for another sheer cold. No, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna Ice Beam. <laughs> I'm just gonna Ice Beam and just go straight into close combat. All right, Infernape should be able to outspeed, but he just cancels the battle, and there it is, yo. Walreen getting after it in battle number one. Battle number two coming at you guys. We're coming off a strong victory with Walreen, and it was definitely satisfying to land that sheer cold in battle number one. Like, dude, he's bulky. We set up the substitute, and he was just sitting there healing all game long. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. But we're going up against a pretty cool team. He's got also the the ice combo. He has the uh, Glaceon alongside with Bombasno, and then he has Speed Control with Crobat. Then he has Intimidate Arcanine, Togekiss, and Garchomp. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like maybe just leading up Bombasno and Walreen. I think that could be pretty good for us. I'm digging it both. Let's do it. Let's lock in both of those and then bring Latios in the back end because it's really fast. And then Scissor kind of just works really, really well here. Or I could even go with a Pokemon like Titar. Because Titar does a lot of work, but at the same time, it's just like, actually, no, we should go Titar. We can go Latios. We just go Titar Scissor. Like, Titar Scissor could do some work. You know, I'm just going to not even bring you. Let me withdraw you. Hold up. Give me some time. I'm, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Five seconds left. We're not even going to bring a bomb. We're not even going to bring Obama. We're going to hope that he sets the hail. And I'm just going to lead Scissor because, yo, dude, Scissor does work up against these ice Pokemon. So I really like him, especially since he's going to lead it. So he's going to end up leading. Okay, these two. So this is not good for us. No bueno. Definitely not good for us. We're going to go Walrein. We are going to go in with uh, Scissor as well. I could protect here by Scissor, or I could set up a Swords Dance, but I think I'm going to protect, right? I think I'm just going to protect and drop an Ice Beam with Walrein. Or I could sub set up, but I think Ice Beam's going to be my play. Or I could drop a Surf. Surf while I protect. Probably my play, right? I try to get off as much damage as I can to the Arcanine. Try to get off as much damage as I can to the Arcanine. Yeah, Arcanine is definitely a pain. And I wonder what he's going to go into. He might just drop a Flamethrower or a Flare Blitz. I'm not going to lie, yo. Crobat's definitely a little scary, too. I'm surprised he didn't drop any Ice Pokemon. Hopefully, he has a Bombasso in the back. I want to get a Bombasso out there with Walry. Get that Ice Bite trigger in. Let's get that double HP recovery. He's going to end up with Roll and Arcanine. So, smart little play by him. Who's he going to roll into here? Who are you going to roll into? Bombasso, please? Yes, he does roll into Bombasso. I don't know what that. Probably gonna take some speed control. So snowboarding's gonna come out here. I don't really mind it too much. I don't really mind that too much. This is just gonna protect here. I get my ice body rolling. We're gonna recover a bunch of HP at the end of the turns. We're gonna get rolling from here. He's gonna set up a tail. So the tailwind's out and about. That is fine. Surf's gonna fly through here. We're gonna chip up a little bit of damage on the Crobat. Probably not too much damage onto that bomb snow. And it kinda should go from there. So we'll send it that way and that's not too bad. That ain't too bad. It's not too bad. Not too shabby here. So, Hail Buffets are going to fly out here. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Obama Snow and Walrein will not take it. But I, what I can do from here is just drop a straight Ice Beam. And then just go straight into a Bolt Punch. To try to finish off him. Do we think that could KO? That could be nice if we KO. I was thinking of just Bolt Punching and going. He's going for a Quick Guard. That's a great play. That's a great play. Quick Guard on the Crobat. I love that. I love that. That's a great play by him. He's probably going to try to get after my Walrein here. Which is a little scary, but I think Walrein can actually eat this up, right? Yes, I love you, Walrein. That's a solid eat up. That's a solid eat up right there, Walrein. Ice Beam's gonna fly, and this might be able to pick up the KO. 
Let's do it. Let's go, Walreen. Big time KO. We are going to gra grab some leftovers. We are going to grab what's called on top of that. We're going to grab leftovers and uh, ice body health. Which, and I think it just goes back into Arcanine. And at that point, I could hard swap and just get rid of the minus two and just uh, send a surf. Or I could just protect. It is tough. It is tough. What do I do here? Are you going to go back into Arcanine? He's going to go back into Arcanine. So from here, what do I do here? I think it's going to bother me. I do not have Protect on Walreen. Um, I could kind of just waste out Tailwind turns. But I really want to swap the Arcanine. Or not the Arcanine, the Walreen. Or not the Walreen, the Scissor. I want to swap the Scissor. I could actually change up Weather, but I kind of like this Weather. I wish I had Protect here. But we know when Energy Ball takes me out. We know he can outspeed me here. I think I still might just drop Bull Punch. Or I could just hard swap right into a Pokemon like Gladius. Or even Tito here. Guitar can change backup weather. And we could just go for an ice beam, I guess. I mean, we'll be our best bet. I feel like having scissor in the back end would be a bit better for us. So you know what? I'm just gonna go for the uh sheer cold. If we land it, we land it. We're gonna go for it. And I think we just uh we hard swap at this point. Or I could protect and then hard swap, but I just think we hard swap at this point. Just swap into T-Tar. Yeah, I'm with it. I am with it. Let's swap outer T-Tar or outer scissor. Take off that minus two, and we're gonna get Tyrantar out of value. Which is solid. The Sandstrom's gonna come out here. If we can land a Sheer Cold, that would be beautiful. But I just think he Energy Balls takes me out, right? Yeah, Energy Balls coming hot. Take me out, right? Let's we'll see you later, Walrein. So, Walrein, you did some good work. You did some solid work there. You got rid of the Crobat, which I love. And if you didn't have Quick Guard, we probably would have picked up an easy double kill. And then he's just gonna drop a Flame Blood. So, I'm cool with that. That's an easy search for my boy Titar. We love him. We love him. We are loving it. The solid turn. Solid turn there. He still has some turns left in, uh, in Tailwind. And at this point, I think I could just. Roll straight into the what's it called? Roll straight back into the scissor. Because then I pose a threat onto the Bomb of Snow. I could drop a rock slide onto this uh, Arcanine. And if he wants to burn me with Will O Wisp, I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Because we do have that lovely little lumber. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to drop a rock slide on top of that. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Yo, my scissor just point at him. I love when he does the claw pinch. It looks like he's pointing at his opponent. He's like, yo, you, you're next, dude. You're next. But not a bad, not a bad start from us. Walring picked up a nice little KO. I wish, uh, I wish, uh, what's it called? He didn't have quick guard because then he would have been in the battle a lot longer, especially with the hail. It could have been really nice because I could have been able to set up sub suit if he did not have quick guard. But he's going to end up withdrawing the bomb. So showcasing his last Pokemon. And who's it going to be here? Who is it going to be? It's going to be Glaceon. And Glaceon, not going to do well here either. I don't know what the swap was for because your Glaceon's not doing well here either. Sash is coming out here. It's going to take Buffets. We're going to say bye bye to Glaceon. Arcanine's probably going for a Will O Wisp. It does. It misses, but what he doesn't know is that we had Lumberry regardless. We had Lumberry regardless. That picks up the, not the double kill, but still. Good old damage. We could bull punch straight into the Arcanine to finish him off. I really like where we're sitting. That's going to be GG's for battle number two. Your boy is buzzing with Walreen. Actually, never mind. This thing has the Guav Berry. Or is that the Figgy? I'm going to take a guess and say it's a Guav, because I rock a Guav. It was the Figgy. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it. Buffets are going to fly. Um, I could double protect here. Or no, I shouldn't tell when it's gone. I'm going to bull punch again. And that's pretty much... That, that's a wrap for the battle. He's probably saying, like, oh man, dude, the Wither Wisp didn't land. Blah, 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 blah. Yo, we have Lumberry. And I wish he would know that. I wish he knows that his miss did not matter there. Rockside's going to poke again. We're just going to drop bull punch. I think opponent cancels battle. We go 2-0. Is that, is that what it's looking like? Because, yo, Wolverine, I'm loving Wolverine. He does not cancel, but Bull Punch flying. Bomb of see you later. Get him on out of here. I knew Scissor would be a beast, actually, uh, using this battle. This does a lot of work. And T-Tar would be good. So these two are just prevailing up against the team. They're just ripping it up. They're just ripping it up. He's going to go into Flare Blitz. He's going to say bye-bye to my Scissor. That's totally fine. This Rock Side should be able to connect and finish. But if not, we have Latios in the back end to, to do it. But my boy T-Tar over here, he doesn't miss his Rock Sides. He's the, he's the man. He doesn't play no games. His rock slides always connect. Like I said, always connecting. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG's. 2 0 for today's video. We just guarantee yourselves a winning record. You can hop through a third and final battle. They can grab ourselves a perfect record. We ended up rematching for the third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. I might just lead the Obama Snow and Walt. Just getting rolling out with them, right? They're looking pretty good. Like, Scissor's obviously a beast up against a few of these Pokemon. T Tar is as well. So I kind of just want to go in with them too and then T Tar Walring. We're not Titar Wall Ring, Obama Snow Wall Ring. It's just not bad at all. It's not bad at all. We're super effective up against a lot. Obviously, the Arcanine is a problem. Because Arcanine is just 
a problem, <laughs> but uh, we're still going to lead these boys because actually these guys do a lot of work up against a lot of different Pokemon. So I'm going to bring in them too. I definitely want to have Scissor in that back and just a super strong Pokemon. And then just roll in with Titar, right? Just roll in with Titar. Or we could bring Latios. Like, Latios isn't too shabby here either. Super effective up onto the Crobat. Super effective onto that, uh, onto that, uh, what is it? The Garchomp. But dude, Titar just does work. And I'm going to bring Titar. I just like Titar. I really like Titar. I really like Titar in this situation. So pretty much same squad. We're just swapping in the Bomba Snow for the uh for Latios at this point. We're gonna get rolling here. He's gonna end up going Crobat and that. I'm cool with that, yo. I'm cool with that. I can drop double blizzard if I want to. I could indeed drop double blizzard. I mean he can drop EQs. EQs are definitely scary. And I'm thinking of just dropping a uh, single blizzard and just subbing up with my wall ring. Right? That's probably my play. Probably my best bet. Right there. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He could actually protect the Garchomp this turn. And set up a Tailwind, which might be his play. He's going to withdraw. So, Substitute's going to be a great play for us. He's going to go on Arcanine? Is Arcanine going to come out here? No, Glaceon's going to come out here with Snow Cloak. That's pretty cool. He's going to end up setting up a Tailwind. He's going to get a little bit of speed. But, yo, we are setting up the Substitute with this Walreen. We're going to get after it. So, is going to Blizzard. Chip up some damage on the Crobat. Probably not KO, but get off some big damage. Actually, Buffets might be able to take that out. That would be good. That'd be good news. I could sheer cold into that Glaceon at this point. I could definitely do that. But look at this HP that we're going to get back. We sub up. We go down to 163. But now we have Ice Body. And on top of that, we have what's called. We have Leftovers. But yo, those buffets bring them down to one. There goes my Ice Body. So it's basically like another Leftovers. So it's double Leftovers that we have now. And we go back up to 180. Which is a nice little chunk. 20, what is that? 23 HP? Or 26 HP? I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. But from here, I could just go into an Ice Beam. But Ice Beam, or you know what? I'm going to go for a Sheer Cold right now. I could go for a Surf. Surf ain't too bad. Surf is not too bad. I kind of dig the Surf. And the Blizzard action. Just so I can chip off some more damage onto that uh, Glaceon. Actually, we're going to double down into Glaceon with Energy Ball. You can go for Brave Bird, and that's going to bring me down to Sash. That's going to bring me down to Sash. And he's actually going to go down the river. So that works fine. So we have Sash up. I wonder what Glaceon's going for. I was going to go for a Sheer Cold, but yo, running a Surf into a uh, Energy Ball, not bad. Not bad. I don't mind taking my, out my Abomasome at this point. We already set the hell and we can roll from there. And he's going to go for a Free Try, and he's going to take off my Substitute. So I'm cool with that turn. Energy Ball should come come out here first, and uh, and then Surf. So we should be able to chip up a decent amount of damage, unless he Snow Cloaks me. Energy Ball comes out here. Built. Great damage. Wall Ring finishes off. We drop a Surf. We're going to KO our Obama Snow. But KO is Glaceon at the same time. I love it. I love it. And we're going to go back up to pretty much full HP with this Ice Body. So now he has Garchomp in the back end alongside with who? I don't even know. We haven't seen his final Pokemon. So not a bad turn. I dig that turn. I dig that turn. Yo, Walreen's ripping. Walreen's actually doing a lot better than I thought he would. I thought Walreen was going to get ripped on by a few Pokemon. But I feel like the way that I built him and the Pokemon that I put around him are really making him thrive and beat his peak. Because he's doing phenomenal. So we know he has Garchomp. I don't want to take off, take off Weather, so I am going to go in the Scissor here. I'm just going to hope he's not rocking uh, Arcanine. I'm going to go Garchomp, and then who's his final Pokemon? Anybody but Arcanine? Abomasnow. Okay. Abomasnow. So I can drop an Ice Beam. I can drop a Bull Punch. That's got to be my play, right? Ice Beam. B Punch. That's pretty much just solidifies the battle. Yo, Wolverine driving. He's doing work. I don't think he can one-tap me. I mean, he could drop an EQ. EQ can do a nice chunk of damage, but... I don't think he can one-tap my Walreen. I don't think he can, dude. Walreen is so bulky. Two, what is it? 216 HP? 217 HP? We have a couple IVs and, uh... Or EVs and, uh... What is it? In special defense and defense? That was just huge. He's just bulky. He's just super, super bulky. And, he, and I have full, uh... I have full EVs and, uh... HP? Oh, we can't battle. And I have a little bit in, uh... Special attack there as well. Walreen is the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He is the best Pokemon in BDSP. All jokes aside, he is very, very strong in BDSP. I did not think he was going to do that good, but he absolutely dominated with that Ice Body and the Leftovers and the Substitute moveset. It was gorgeous. First battle, we came across him. We got ourselves a win with Sheer Cold. Second battle, we got to use him again. And third battle, we really got to showcase him to his fullest potential with the Ice Body rolling, the Leftovers on top of that, him doing big damage with Ice Beam, with Surf, everything all around. You gotta love it. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.